Now at 6, a new report shows the number of Bay Area homes underwater is growing. We show you where the housing market has been hit the hardest in the Bay Area, plus how home values continue to fall. Our team coverage starts with Con Force Kate Thompson. It's not the direction homeowners want to be moving in. More homes in the Bay Area are underwater. Just take a look. This was last year, 2010. About 22% of all homes in the Bay Area were underwater, which means people owe more on their mortgages than their homes are worth. This year, it has gone up 2011 to 25.7%, almost 26%. The counties getting hit the hardest are Contra Costa and Solano. We can take a look at the numbers here. In Solano County, 2010 at 53.4, that has gone up to almost 59%. And also Contra Costa, from 37.9 to this year, 38% of homes underwater. Two contributors causing more underwater homes. Foreclosures continue to come onto the market, pushing the value of homes farther and farther down. On top of that, there is too much supply and not enough demand. Home sales the beginning of this year reached a new low with no government tax credit to help stir up demand. Kate Thompson, Cron 4 News. The toughest real estate market in the Bay Area is still in Solano County. You heard Kate allude to that. Zillow.com says nearly 59% of all homes in that county are underwater. Cron 4's Jeff Bush tells you the story of one family home that's on the market for nearly three times less than its value before the bottom dropped out of the market. It's a heartbreaking story. This four-bedroom, two-bathroom house on Falcon Street in Vallejo has been the family home for the last 42 years and was supposed to be the place where an elderly couple was going to spend the rest of their lives. But that didn't happen, and now it's on the market for a fraction of what it was once worth. Rodney Ritchie grew up here and hoped the house would stay in the family. But the circumstance for financial disaster was set back in 2005 after his dad died of a stroke. The family refinanced the house to make some improvements and get caught up on the bills that were stacking up. It turns out that refinancing the home was a bad deal, and the payments ballooned a few years ago because the interest rate went up. But at that time, the money was, you know, needed desperately because of the job market and uh, things going out of out of uh, sync with uh, the house. You know, I mean, you need upgrades and maintain the house. You know, with improvements like a new roof, new heater, and new AC, the house is in pretty good shape and was once worth around four hundred thousand. Today, it is on the market for ninety nine thousand dollars couldn't ask for a better deal for ninety nine thousand i would think rodney's upset about selling his childhood home but hopes somebody buys it before the bank takes it and the family loses what little equity they have in the house in vallejo jeff bush cron 4 news